Today we have the uh, camera set up more towards the cards today. I'm going to try this. I've done this once before. And the way I saw a tarot card reading today from Virgo the Goddess. And I had more questions than I had answers. Okay. Uh, first of all, the, um, she only focuses on Virgo. She doesn't focus on any other signs. And, um, I've been listening to her readings. I've been listening to them a lot. And, um, this reading today was confusing as hell. Uh, for me. So, we're going to begin the process of finding out the situation um, which is talking about as far as how does it apply to my life. Now, Mother God can access her readings and so I'm asking Mother God to do this. So, Mother God, Angel, Spirit, Guides, um, could you please clarify Virgo, the Goddess is reading of Virgo, you have dodged the bullets. Could you please clarify the reading as far as how it applies to my life? Virgo, you have dodged a bullet. We will have to use it. We will have to use reversals, I think, because I don't think it's going to be as simple as some of this right side up. So, of course, so reversals, we'll have to use those. So, reversals are okay. But still, let's keep the message as simple as possible. Okay. So, how does Virgo the guy that says, Virgo, you have the to bullet apply to the life of Michelle Marie Delaney? Okay, now, for you, the audience, your reading is going to show the cards, the opposite direction. Of course, I can flip them upside down. Okay, um, the stuff in the camera. I'll try that if I have to. So I'll help you understand the situation. Okay, so, another guy probably has angel spirit guides. Welcome. Please help me to understand how Virgo the Goddess's message applies me because I mentioned it because her reading is really confusing uh, it's got a lot of twists and dark alleys and I just listen to it and it's I understand it's an intuitive reading and that it's uh, a reading that so we're gonna start like I usually do. Let's start with the overreaching card. Let's let's start with the, let's start with the first card. Okay, we got the seven of wands up. Okay, seven of wands in the upright facing position. Okay. And I believe Mr. Upright Position says courage, courageous, um, taking on, uh, yes, seven of wands. Yep, courage, advantage, high ground. Okay, so courage. Okay, so I have courage. All right, so that's. That's the general reading of this reading. Okay, that's the general energy of this reading. Okay, courage. Now, I know some people like to flip the cards over and look at the bottom. If I do, look at the hangman. Okay. But I... I'd rather do this in a little bit different way. Okay. Keep getting the impression. Shuffle good. I, I kept them. I will do the best I can. Um, now, I will post 
a link to the Rugo the Goddesses message. In case any of you others people would like to take a look at it. And you understand why I mentioned I mentioned a couple signs that I have in connection with including a Capricorn, Scorpio, two Tauruses, Isis. Yeah, a lot of signs. So let's pull these cards up. Let's see. Six cards to start with and we'll work. Oops. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's right set up. That's right set up. Uh fix that one up. Okay, so let's put these other to run to what we got. Okay. The wheel of fortune upside down. The ten of cups upward. The nine of cups. The magician. Of course, we already know this is the King of Cups. A lot of Cups energy here. A lot of Cups energy. Page ones. Alright, so the only one that's upside down is the Wheel of Fortune. That's the first card. Major Arcana. And it's upside down. So now, if I look up the Wheel of Fortune, which is number 10. It says impasse, resistance, excess of denial. Impasse or resistance. I think it's those are the those are the uh, verbs that are most or adjectives and verbs here. Um, whoever you got the pen of cooks. You have the Ten of Cups, you get the Nine of Cups. As I said, there's a lot of Cups energy here. So the Ten of Cups, these are upward facing, is commitment, happiness. Nine of Cups is concord, contentment, fulfilled wishes. Now this Water energy may have to do with a relationship. It's a magician card. Skill diplomacy. Information so confidence. Okay. King of Cups is the emotional water sign, energy. He's a humanitarian. He's a well respected man devoted to the earth and nature. And then, of course, the last card we have out here is page one. Young figure in the act of proclamation. Okay. Well. Let's pull up. What is the. What is the page of one's proclaiming? Let's, so what's the next right after that? Major card here. Page of swords. I think there's one more after that. Pages. Proclaiming a page it doesn't make any sense. Stinky Pete. Okay. Now I'm reading somewhere. Shall we continue? Let's. Two of Pentacles. Balance. Let's see here. 
And we're going to have to clarify some of these, I'm sure. So we're going to... Okay. Two of Pentacles. Balance. Next card. The Empress Reversed. Thing I'm, okay, so the Empress reversed. Indecision, delay, anxiety, and sterility. Okay. Okay, so let's clarify some cards because I want to know why the Wheel of Fortune Reverse because that's kind of odd. And why is the Wheel of Fortune Reversed? Now, for those of you who don't know, these little cards are very hard to cut. Mm. Two decks, so I only, I only, I have to alternate between them. So let's start with the first one. I'm gonna flip, make sure it's upside down, right side up, and that's right. Okay, so in this case, it's the page ones in reverse. Okay, reverse announcement, warnings, misunderstandings. Yeah, misunderstandings in the Wheel of Fortune card in reverse. It says impasse. Somehow, my brain says, what kind of warnings? Four of Pentacles. That has to do with inheritance. Legacy, inheritance, sound judgments. Sound judgments. Okay. <sighs> Maybe what it's saying is, is I'm questioning my judgment. Given what has been happening to me in the last few years. Okay, that could be real be it. So let's see now, why be there like that? However, 
we are still seeing the, uh, the Ten of Cups. This is not in reverse. This is contentment. This is happiness. This is like relationship. This is saying it still continue to be happy and content in your life. You're still enjoying good things. You're still having a good time. The magician is on your side. And the magician says Your skill, diplomacy, determination, self confidence. No, just, you're confident, you believe in yourself, you believe in what you're doing, you believe you're achieving the right goal. King of Cups is on your side, or humanitarian, emotional, water energy. How much do you doing? So the point is, you go inside now. Oh, let me let's catch it. Come on. Come on. I'll see you in a little bit. Let's close the door. Okay, so clearly, there is a page of words. I don't know, Johnny. Sorry about that. Um, page once says and I'm gonna reclamation a messenger enthusiasm news, okay? But you also got the page of swords. So maybe the enthusiastic news has to do with the page of swords energy. Which frankly as far as I'm concerned isn't still enthusiastic news. Sorry, Swords. I don't. There's a reason I call you the Sharper Pointies. Um, a common young man in, who thrives in physical challenges, diligence, and agility. Okay, well, that doesn't sound like me. I don't like physical challenges. <laughs> really, I don't. Um, however, Sneaky Pete is here. Deception, lies, sneakiness, evil, sneaky peek. Not good. Now, what do we say here? Let's clarify that because that is a great, great, great question. Why is sneaky peek here? Why is the seven of swords 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 here? Someday I'm afraid I'm going to lose cards one day, but I'm not looking. Maybe I will. Nine of Swords. It's, it's, that's, uh... That's the despair card. Somebody is some despair is causing you 
someone's taking advantage of you because you're despair. Bastard. Ah, I have a hunch I know who it is. All right. But it doesn't stay bad. Because it looks like it overcomes that and get to pentacles. Pentacle partnerships and balance partnership, earth energy. Last one we have is the Empress upside down. Decision to lay anxiety. Let's clarify that card. What if this could be revolving relationships? Clarify the Empress in the curse. Let's clarify that. Let's clarify that. Three of Pentacles. I think an offer was offered to work together, a collaboration, or some partnership of some sort. Which is something that she also mentioned. A partnership. There's indecision, there's doubt. So nothing happens. So nothing happens. It doesn't... Well, we still need to know is, is do we ever over the community's impasse? Because right now where we are at this point is there's no overcoming impasse unless we can come to grips with what's causing our indecision or impasse. We need to know what causes that. Obviously a partnership was offered as causing the impart um so what is now I guess that's a challenge now this isn't either um this is like a decision tree if then tree okay so I need to know mother god father god angel spirit guide what if we overcome the Empress in reverse what if we overcome overcome it what is the outcome of this this is like an if then tree. Then you get to relax. Count less. Chill. Okay. Or. Let's see if I overcome it. What happens if I don't? And that's why I asked that question. Right? What happens if I don't overcome this impasse of the Empress in reverse? Because it looks like it definitely is like a decision tree. What happens if we don't overcome the Empress in the roots? Got the Knight of Wands in reverse. The Knight of Wands in reverse. Well, they're not as bad as the sharp and pointies, but they're against discord, fear of commitment. Ah, uh, okay. Basically, as far as this reading goes, if you don't overcome this magician in reverse, you don't move on. I mean, you could theoretically keep drawing the tree from these two and uh, into see the pen keep building up but I really don't want to do that because it's one I don't have enough cards in the deck and number two it just basically means that you'd be feeding the negative 
path, and I really want to focus on the positive. So, um, so let's see. Okay, obviously we're convalescing, we're relaxing, we're taking a chill pill with the four swords, which is positive energy. Alright, so what happens next after the four is over? We're going to have to come to a final um, card sooner or later. This is going to have to come to a close. These readings can't go on forever. I mean, they could, but I don't want to go there, okay? What happens after the four swords? Crossroads. Railroads in reverse. Okay, wait a minute. Crossroads in reverse. The eight of wands in reverse. Jealousy, disputes, apprehension, quarrels. Okay, jealousy. This kind of matches what she said earlier about jealousy. That there was a person that's jealous of what I have achieved. Oh. So I guess we need to clarify. Why is this person jealous? Why is this person jealous? Okay, why is this person jealous? Okay. Upside so down. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, jeez. Okay, so Ace of Pentacles upside down. I think I see where this is going. Overextension of resources, false sense of security, mismanagement. Basically, they messed up their entire life. Mismanagement, false sense of security. I think that's why they're jealous because they, in their own mission, Okay, so mother, let's start. Okay, I have a hunch it's a Capricorn, but I'm I won't even bother asking that. <laughs> but uh, I do want to know for me, not them, but I will ask them too. But really, want to focus on me a bit because this is what this reading is supposed to be for me. Is What's my final outcome? Because they're jealous of me. What's my final outcome? My, okay, what is, what's going to happen to me? What's my final outcome? What's my final energy? What's my, where, what am I going to be? The sun in reverse, 21. Somehow I don't think that's a happy energy. <laughs> Sorry guys. I, I try really hard to read positive readings and and unfortunately sometimes I get accept that they're not always positive. So the sun in reverse is uh inertia stagnation action required. Action required Action required. Okay, what kind of action? 
What kind of action do we need? Okay, what kind of action? Oh wait, you know, let me pull this card. I think these may be a bit random. I'm gonna pull these up first. And then we'll do another song. Okay, what kind of action is needed to descend in the reverse? What kind of action is needed for descent in the reverse? Six of Swords. Six of Swords. Oh. <sighs> ah, okay. I always end up leaving a set of cards always out of my deck that I'm going to. Okay, why don't I dump it? I'll put those in a second. Um, six of Swords. Training by Water Passes Healing. Leaving someone behind. Healing. I need a healing. Healing. Okay. Or I need, or I may be doing healing. Okay. Okay. And lastly, again. This. I'm running out of room here, mother. What is the very final outcome from this reading of oh, how I dodged the bullet? I'm getting a feeling the story in reverse. Oof. <coughs> Oh, the bad news just keeps on coming. All right, so the start in reverse. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie. There are some times when I just want to basically a disappointment, wasted up. Opportunity. Wasted opportunity. Why did I waste my opportunity? I'm gonna throw that card back in the deck there, because I mean that it is part of the deck, okay? So, let's clarify the start reverse. Come on. This is getting complicated. Upside down. The start. What are you doing? Your circle jerk on me? Come on! The star! You already said that! Next card! Reverse! Queen of Pentacles!
Also, Moody, Pendant, Opinionated, Manipulative. Okay. In one sense, yeah, we dodged the bullet. That person was jealous. Uh, the, um, they're not happy. Okay, we already know that. It's this course here that I'm confused about because the fact of the matter is it's saying here my outcome is going to be like you're stuck you're moody you're opinionated it's almost like you're saying is is But is this my energy or is this their energy? Because you see now, I'm still saying that because um, even though it's supposed to be my energy, um, the individual in question, I have a good hunch I know where they are, who they are, they are very strong opinions. And they I think this is, yeah, I, I'm getting the impression that Mother saying is, is this is their reading, their energy. Okay, uh, it is an earth sign. It is Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, but I don't get the impression of Virgo, okay? Uh, it could be an Aquarius too, but... It could be a Leo. It could be our sign. No, oh, I didn't go see the bottom of our chair. So let me go see these real quick here. You do find balance. This is me again. I can see this right now. You do find balance of some sort. And then, of course, the, um, the Empress in Reverse. And the Knight of Wands in Reverse. There's so many cards out on this table that it is almost impossible to read it without getting confused. There's just too many. Okay, basically what it's saying is <sighs> Well Okay, so since this seems to appear she didn't have to do with this in the other person's energy. Let me the humanitarian ask the question I should be asking. What is the outcome for the person that is jealous? What is the outcome for the person that is jealous? What is the outcome for the person that is jealous? I just I might have to ask that question. Because obviously, I keep seeing that as a reading, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to ask it. Okay. Two of Swords. Two of Swords, energy. I know what it means right side up. Right upside down. Um.
decision, action, caution. Okay. So it sounds like this person better be careful. Because of their emotions, they're going to get in the way. Okay, now, let's do one more card. That's their energy. What's the final outcome for me? For this reading. You see how this is getting complicated now with layers and layers and layers and layers and layers. I just want, I just want a simple... Give me a one and hard answer, please. Ace of Swords. Quick energy. Okay, so... Ace of Swords. Something's gonna cut deep. Something's gonna slice through all the... all phony baloney. Opportunity for change, great force and focus. I said there's one more card than this. Knight of Swords again in reverse. <sighs> I hate sharp and pointy energies. Alright. Um Impulsive, hurry, troublemaker. Who, me? <laughs> a troublemaker? Come on. Give me a break. Um, one more. Page of Cups in Reverse. Oh, man. <sighs> Page of Cups in Reverse. Oh. I know what it's in there. She said these cards can make me feel... Self-absorption or withdrawal. Okay. Alright, so... Quickity. Alright, let's clear these two. Let's clear these two cards. Okay. Let's verify the Knight of Swords. First, in reverse. I never had so many cards on my table in my life, so it's just like a lot of cards to deal with, okay? So, Knight of Swords in reverse. What's the story with the Knight of Swords in reverse? Ten of Cups. And let's clarify the Page of Cups. Point of Wands upward. Cups in reverse. Oh, 
The trail lost worst appearances. Okay, and the other one is the Queen of Cups. I'm sorry, Queen of Wands upward position. Reveal her powers of observation and leadership. Well, let me just say this. It's a lot, a lot of dark alleys here and a lot of twisty twists and turns and Tell you what, I want a second opinion. There's just so many levels to this deck. There's so many levels. There's just this is like this is like trying to um, try not to lose any cards on the floor. I want a second opinion. His mother, this is so many twists and angles and uh, it's making my head hurt just trying to figure this out. Please, mother, have empathy on me, okay? There's just too many cards. I love you, I love you, but please, can we keep this simple? Let's keep this simple because this is ridiculous. You got so many cards in here. Um, yeah, I did ask to go based on her reading, and I'm seeing now that why she's constantly, constantly have to reevaluate her intuitive reading on the spot repeatedly okay so why don't we start with you let's start with mother god father god let's start with a simple reading similar how we normally do it we will use reversals but honestly i like to see um Keep it simple, please, Mother God, Father, Angel, Spirit, guys. <sighs> One. What's going to happen um, with a person that's jealous? Let's start with that person first. What's going to happen with a person that's jealous of me? Why is the person? Oh, um, what's going to happen? Why are they jealous of me? Eh, that's what's going on. Why? Is the person jealous of me? So let's break it down into the segments. Okay, why is the person jealous of me? Reversals are fine. Uh, don't really like them that much, but oh, fine. We use them anyway. I have the devil. Yeah, that's who we know it is. Right? You know, it's, we know it's a Capricorn. I already knew that. And. Covers, aha. So he had attraction to me. Um, the high priestess number two, King of Pentacles.
clean the lawns, and temperance card. Okay, well, let's start with these first. We know it's we know it's Capricorn card. Okay, we know that. We know he is. Uh, well, the devil card is also a. Uh, and he's actually ignorance, submission, illusion, force, obsession. Okay, so he's obsessed with me. Okay, so this Capricorn is obsessed with me. Okay. Last, we have the lover's card. So, this person, the lover's card, card number six. Boy. Attraction, beauty, synergy. Okay. However... We have an upside down card, the High Priestess. Number two. His short sightedness, ignorance, conceit, and shallow. Okay. Conceit. Shallow, conceited and shallow. However, we have the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles may be referring to the values of me that. Why is jealous? King is a logical, mythological, responsible, and solid, and solid prosperity, intelligence, business aptitude. Okay, so in order to do that's what he's jealous is that I've got that he may not have that ability. Um, Queen of Wands is also in my favor. Which is actually a card of Leo, by the way. This is kind of interesting. Um, so, she reveals her powers of observation and leadership, affability, growth, development, passion. Last one is the Temperance card, number 14. Moderation, man's man's equanimity, combination. In other words, these are reasons why he's jealous. Okay, this Capricorn has an obsession issue, but he doesn't. He doesn't know how to make it work. Thus. The high priest is in the reverse. He doesn't know how. Because he is basically obsessed. And because he is obsessed, he is not Yeah. Alright, so now that makes a lot of sense. Shallow, conceited. That's his personality. And then these are the reasons why he's jealous that I have achieved these three things, okay? Which is the support of the King of Pentacles, okay? And the support of the Queen of Wands, 
These are my traits, okay? And the temperance card of finding balance. So, clearly, just like Wally well, Coyote going after the Roadrunner, guess what? He'll try and try and try. But he will not achieve his goal of having a roadrunner for dinner. Alright. So, for my Capricorn obsessed person, sorry, you lose. Okay, now, now we know that. Now we know that I chose not to work with this individual, so therefore my question, and I'm going to be bringing these up into parts, because unlike the ones that Virgo Goddess did, which is, has more twists and turns than some old city streets in the city of London, this, um... Yeah, I, I want to make this simple because I want to know, okay, so I want to know one thing, okay, for myself. Here we go. Um, yeah, I try, to, I try to really shuffle these cards really good. Alright, so what about my situation? Okay. Alright, so I had a trouble card come up. I wonder what that means. Well, okay, so let's see. Since I'm not working with this Capricorn, what can I expect for the month of or the week? Of the second through the ninth, August second through August ninth. That's starting tomorrow. Okay. Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> Pentacles. <laughs> uh, and the death card in reverse. Interesting. <sighs> that death card is number thirteen. I know, I'm sorry, I mean, I'm, I'm, a little I'm still a little bit low on energy, but uh, I will keep trying. In, in inertia, see, stagnation. Okay, so there is a stagnation issue. So after we achieve all this, we get stagnant. What's the outcome after that, if we can overcome that? Let's share it in reverse. I don't think that Capricorn is going to give up, is he? Uh... I don't think that Capricorn is going to give up at all. This is the reason why I'm seeing seven cards, card seven in reverse. The chariot. Someone needs to fight it. 
I think what it means is get it all together. I really scored five, but for some reason, you feel like you got stuck. So now you're sitting here wondering what to do now. So, what do I do now? What's the possibilities? But since it's an if then card, if we overcome the division, oh jeez, eight of swords. Oh, eight of swords. In a conflict, a turmoil, bound by fears. So it sounds like the fears I need to overcome. Fears. Okay, so let's find out. There we go, when these dreams get complicated. Why is the Eight of Swords here? 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 Higher fit in reverse. Renunciation or orthodoxy fight. It sounds like it's saying is just that uh, uh, possibility is that I might do something that's unorthodox and that's causing the fear. Well, how does that go? <laughs> well, fortune upside down again. Jeez, I can't even get ahead here. Really, I really can't. And the wheel of fortune upside down. This is, I've already started to feel. Impasse, resistance, obsess. I think I'm stuck. Basically, I don't know why I'm stuck. I guess I tried something different. And it didn't work for me. It, it didn't. I had all the supporting cards at first. And then... When we got into the um, to the next reading, the death card in reverse is when all of a sudden everything goes awry. Okay, so I I think I've got to do something with the do that create an impact. I don't want to create an impact. I got to find a solution. But I'm not sure what I can do. Okay. I see why I don't like to reverse the cards because they, 
It makes the way so much more complicated. Now, I said, said as I said, that this this cut cut in reverse could be an opportunity of two different angles. So um I'm gonna ask this card in the death card since it sounds like an if then statement. Let's go ahead and ask this. Okay. Mother God, Father God, Angel Spirit Guides. What if we do not do the action of the chariot in reverse? What if we did not do the action in order to the death card? What if we choose the other option of not going with the chariot in reverse? Because I got a feeling it's an F then thing. Like in computer programming, I mean, we can get into the scene trees and everything, but I don't want to get that complicated. I just want a simple one card answer, please. What's the alternative to the death card? Upside down, I have two of wands in reverse. Two wands in reverse. Setbacks, delays, frustration. So in other words, damn if you do, damn if you don't. Alright. So I guess the next class the last question is in other words, if I don't do any of this, I still screw. If I do this, then I'm going to try processes to try to create a channel. It's going to result in all kinds of confusion, get lost. And want one more card. The magician, however, says after the wheel portion is upside down, okay, and you go through all this bullshit, then. Uh, the magician comes up right side up and uh, says skill diplomacy, determination, self confidence, action. So you recover your mojo and you do what you gotta do, and after you face these setbacks, lovely. But damn, you made this reading awfully complicated. It's starting to give me a headache, honestly. <laughs> How can I do all that? Well, you know what? I'll tell you a secret. Um, honestly, guys, tarot can be a little tricky, especially if you get into a lot of energies, as I said, building upon Virgo the Goddesses reading. I found immediately I had more headaches. Uh, then, and more ins and outs than I, than in a soap opera or telenovela. Okay? Um, so, we did break it down. We do know who's jealous. We know who lie they're jealous. Um, they have, are jealous because they wanted to control. And they didn't get a chance to control because their uh, conceit and their arrogance have shot them in the foot. They can't control because they don't have uh, the right energies to control. That's what we can talk to. Um, now I gotta get this uploaded. Boy, is this going to be fun. All right, guys. That's it. That's the reading. That's really long, too. I didn't expect it to take this long to pick through this. But I did it. I did it. I did it for you. I decided to do it. I want to know the honest answers. I want to know the straight up facts. Who done it? Why? Where? When? How? 
So, I guess that's it for now, but thanks for watching, and uh, I'm just pointing out these terrible readings can get really complicated, and, um, and that's why I actually decided to break that video down into smaller chunks, because with the word of the guy that said about dodging the bullet, which did talk about the Capricorn, but unfortunately it got mixed up with everything else, talking about lovers and dates and friendships and everything else, and I was like, ah, come on, give me, get to me simple, plain, everyday English of how all this works here. And that's why I decided to go to that go. So for now, I'll see you guys soon. See you at the jungle, okay? Bye-bye. This is like a 16 inch grinder. <laughs>